I will never surrender of my own free will. If in command, I will never surrender my men while they still have the means to resist. I just know we're never going to get out of this alive. What kind of crazy talk is that? You flipping your lid or something, kid? Well, we're still out of ammo. What are we going to do if they attack again? We're going to get captured for sure. Captured hell. Ain't nobody in this hole going to get captured. If we run out of ammo, we'll fight those cruds with our rifle butts. You can say that again, Dabrowski. Nobody in this whole company is going to be captured yet. Don't worry, the old man knows what he's doing. We're going to get out of this all right. What did I tell you, kid? You got much ammo left? We got nine clips between us. How about grenades? We're fresh out. This is all I can let you have. Make them count. Don't worry. We will. Won't we, kid? You're damn right we will. Here they come. Does every man understand he's to hold his fire until I give the signal? Yes, sir. It's just about close enough. Commence firing! Fire! One dust. That's it, Sarge. Now what do we do? I'll find out. Hang on, I'll let you know. Captain, two of the 81s have run out of ammunition. Tell McCleskey to get those two squads over to the third platoon. Report to Lieutenant Hillier. He can use some help. Yes, sir. What do we do after this? What do we do after this? What you are about to see concerns the men of the 3rd Platoon and what they did in their moment of truth. Pull back. Let's go. Some members of the 3rd platoon, the going is tougher. Between them and the reserves to the south flows a slow-moving but treacherous river. A soldier hates the idea of parting company from his weapon. For without his rifle, he is nothing. But now the big thing is to stay alive to fight again. 
and he makes sure to hide his gear so it won't do the enemy any good. Each man is on his own. Each man making his way to the reserves as best he can. The sergeant. The old pro of a soldier who knows he's going to make it. And the youngster who has forgotten his fear by now. Not far away, just a little longer. Hold on a little more. But on his mind, even as he reaches the lines, is the question, how about his young friend? Did he measure up? Was he going to make it too? Halt, who's there? Paul, who's there? Going. Going. Hour after hour. What comes sliding into your mind at a time like this? A siren call. Surrender? Give up? Live it out in an enemy prison camp? the approaching steps of the enemy play a tune that washes over that call. A tune with a heartbeat that stirs and fires the blood of the American soldier. A heartbeat that lays it on the line. I will never surrender of my own free will. If in command, I will never surrender my men while they still have the means to resist.